Welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. This is actually a first for me. At the beginning of the week, I had decided to set aside a couple of videos I was planning for this week because I was going to build an algae filter for a client, and I thought I'd show you the guys that. Then the week got really quite busy and some other stuff came up and I didn't have quite enough time to finish it. It's, well, 99% done, but I had to build a bracket to put it over the aquarium and also had to do the plumbing for it. Uh, all that stuff will get shown at the end of this video, uh, but I didn't have enough time to actually get it up and running and show it to you. Uh, so you get a, an update on that. And then all I'm going to do is uh, later on, I'll show it to you working and uh, show, if, well, Hopefully it'll, it'll have a positive effect on the aquarium. So that leaves a, uh, a big gap. Uh, so what I wanted to do is give you guys an update on this aquarium. This is the marine aquarium I set up. It is ultra low tech. Uh, all that's on this is uh, two LED strips. Uh, they're well, basically two 10K LED strips, uh, pretty much one foot each. Uh, over the top of this and this box under gravel filter and that is it all the maintenance I've done in this so far is I did a couple of water changes and I cleaned the glass a bit so you can actually see inside because it's getting a bit green the other thing I noticed is it is getting uh, one uh, type of algae that's growing in here that indicates to me that the water chemistry is not um, doing really well yet um, but that's not too big a surprise it is pretty much four weeks old now, so it still kind of has that imbalance to it still, and that's fine. Uh, I put some macroalgae in here. You can see that in the corner there. It's not doing wonderful either, uh, but again, it's just, like I said, it's just way too new. The corals are doing quite well. Uh, they're all open. They're not fully open. Uh, they could be a lot bigger, but again, like I said it's got low light on this, so it's not, you know, the ideal conditions for it. The other thing I did, of course, as you can see in the bottom, is I put sand. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I just don't like bare bottom marine aquariums, which is kind of funny because all the uh, the fish tanks in my fish room are all bare bottom because, well, they're fresh water. And this one just didn't, it just didn't look right. So I figured I'd put some sand in there. It makes it look a lot more the way it I think it should look. So you see these corals are all out. They're all doing quite well. I haven't really noticed any... Uh, die-offs or any slowdowns or but I also haven't noticed any growth either but again this is all really new so keep that in mind when you're looking at this and thinking about it there's no way to make any kind of uh, decisions about this yet as far as whether or not it's a feasible thing it's gonna have to go for quite some time uh, the other thing is I have to add some fish uh, I haven't decided what I want yet in this tank uh, but something has to go in it obviously and then I also need some cleaning crew I'm going to put some snails in here, of course, uh, some, clark, uh, some crabs. Uh, that's probably going to be the extent of it initially. I may add some shrimp later on. I don't know. I mean, this is all, uh, like I said, it's all an unknown, right? I just want to see how it will work. I didn't want to do anything to it until I at least had, uh, well, probably about six to eight weeks of it just like this, just to see if, uh, it is actually something where they're going to, you know, thrive. I don't want to put these in here, have them die, and then like say, oh, well. Uh, so that's that's not my intent here. So they're doing quite well. You know, they're surviving. Let's just put it that way. You can see the bit of the bad algae up there in the upper right-hand corner there. So that has to go away for me to be start considering this being uh, viable. It is... Uh, it, it's important that this does well. I don't expect it to do as well as obviously the high-tech marine tanks, but uh, it should hopefully end up giving you guys a possibility. Like, not everyone can afford all the bells and whistles that go on uh, marine tanks, uh, so that's what I want to see. Is it possible with just a little box under gravel filter? And all that's in there is just a bunch of larger pieces of crushed coral, and <laughs> at this point probably some sand because. Uh, obviously, it was just spraying around in there, and some of it would have gotten there as well. I am going to put on uh, air-driven wave maker into this. Uh, one I had built quite a while ago, 
and that's the other thing I want to do. But everything else I'm going to leave as is. I mean, I was tempted to uh, put an algae scrubber on here, but that's, again, it's getting into stuff that is not really accessible to everybody. So I just want to keep this bare bones for as long as possible. If it turns out that it's just not doing well enough uh, based on uh, these sorts of things, then, of course, I will have to uh, ramp it up a bit. And the thing I'll probably do, well, there's no automatic water change on this yet. I do want to add that. That is the one thing that uh, kind of thought, I, well, made me think that this is a, a possibility for uh, something that's really good long term. I've uh, set up the system. I just haven't turned it on yet because I just don't want this to uh, have anything. Like I said, I wanted this to be as simple as possible initially. That's going to come up real soon. Uh, probably before the next update, I'll have that running uh, just because I, w I do want to stabilize this as much as possible. And then, of course, the cleaning crew will go in for sure. And then hopefully I'll decide on a fish or fishes, depending upon how I decided to go with this. And those will get in as well before I do another update on this. But uh, so far, besides having some algae growing that I just don't like, I mean, it is the kind of algae I know that uh, is an indicator for not ideal either light and or chemistry so I want that to go away and once that starts showing signs of uh, doing what's so, <laughs> going away uh, then I'll uh, I'll start going on the other stuff so that's an update on this uh, it is acceptable this is fine uh, like I said the corals aren't like dying or anything uh, they're actually out as you can see here and that's pretty much all I can hope for in the first month so let's get on to the other thing I was supposed to be doing this week. The next step for this build was to interconnect all the individual LED strips. So I soldered on some wires from each side. Uh, they'll be connected together and then they will go to uh, this power cable which will lead to the power supply. And I just drilled a hole in the side of the aluminum there just so it feeds out nicely. I didn't show you the soldering for this because it's the same as the soldering from the other one. And then what I'm going to do here is just uh, after every time I do a bit of soldering, I run a test on it to make sure uh, that they're working properly. So I just put some alligator clips on it and make sure uh, I didn't break any connections doing any of this. Now I can't show you the actual soldering for this because once I tilted this on end and hooked everything up and put my hands in there so I can actually do the wiring and everything, it was just, there was no room to film. It was just too tight. So these are how they're going to look uh, once they're hooked up. There is the power supply. It's a nice beefy one. It's 150 watts, which is way more than it needs for this. Uh, but it'll last forever, so that's, that's fine. So each of these are wired separately. Uh, and I've <laughs> you can see this nice and bright. I put in the, the reservoirs. Uh, they're not plumbed yet, but that's easy enough to do. And then it's just a simple matter now of doing that part. And like I said, the next time you see this, it'll be running on the client's tank and it'll be doing its thing. And I will just, like I said, clean them individually and you'll see how they run and everything as well. So there's actually something else I want to might, I might add to this. Um, so hopefully at that point in time, I'll show you that as well. So here it is without the light on so you can actually see it. Uh, it turned out pretty good. Uh, like I said, I used some uh, old aluminum for this, so it was kind of nice that it turned out reasonably shiny. And uh, it's uh, pretty much ready to go. Uh, there is a bit of a light leak with this. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a big issue considering where it's going. It's going up on top and there's a big canopy and everything. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I mean, you never know. Uh, we will see uh, if the client uh, finds it annoying because it is in their living room. Uh, so I may have to do an additional amount of uh, well, tinkering with it just to get uh, any kind of light leak uh, from, well, basically from annoying them. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So I'm sorry that you had very little on the algae filter build today, uh, but that's all I had time for. It was, like I said, it's been one of those crazy weeks. Uh, but there's been a number of people who have been interested in the uh, marine tank, so it was kind of cool just to show that and show you guys how that's all working. And then I will definitely do updates on both of these. And hopefully next week we'll get back to a, a more of a regular routine and you know, catch up on some of the stuff I've been you know, meaning to do.
So thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe and always uh, leave comments below. Uh, I'm answering them all and I like to keep that going and <laughs> we'll see how I can, if I can keep up with that too. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.